in that my GM steal the second city second team this is the summer league tournament like playoffs so to speak but you know it's one and done taking on the Miami Heat man they got Michael I mean they got all kinds of got Michael Beasley out here trying to revive his career Justice Winslow is still playing uh, summer league even though Sergey Karasev is overrunning him on the defensive end and getting taken to the basket like that uh, we ended up getting a good stop though but the, the talk and the pretty much the story to summer league has been uh, the play of guys like Anthony Bennett and Ben McLemore and Contavious Caldwell Pope and Jordan Clarkson as well but also the talk has been the lack of usage of Malik Newman because of some what we're calling maturity issues with him early on uh, that have kept him off of the floor uh, as much as he would like and as much as I'm sure quite a bit of the Chicago Souls fan base would like but nonetheless the Chicago Soul has continued to win in the summer league and that's part of the reason why Anthony Bennett I don't care what you do big buddy you're not gonna be on the team is balling so perhaps he's doing an audition for another team but you know he's not gonna be on the team and we talked to you about Michael Beasley he is playing well trying to get himself together and Molly Newman is doing the most that he can do when he gets an opportunity he drops that fadeaway jump shot was a little bit of a questionable shot but he not he's a scorer and that's what I think is going to have to happen people are gonna to have to understand that about Malik Newman and here he is on the break again oh my god what a slam by Malik he's he's one of those players you kind of just gotta let him go you just gotta let him play his game you gotta let him do him if you allow him just to play his game then I think you'll get the, you're going to get some good, you're going to get some bad, but he's one of those kinds of guys. And you see the defense that is being played on the interior is really uh, impressive. And Malik is just, you know, he's holding the ball up top. He is a scorer. He's a guy who needs the ball in his hands to play well. And he's showing you again, knocking down the three from way out. He had seven points. And I'm going to just give you a little bit of a spoiler he didn't score anymore, but he also didn't play a lot again. So can we still win this game and continue our quest to win a uh, summer league championship without him playing much? This game is, we're down four, 49 to 45. Here it is, the game is tied at 51, but Miami on a bust out again, and Justice Winslow lays it in, and we're down by two. Not only have we not had a lot of close games or hardly any close games in the summer league, very rarely have we been trailing and Miami has had the lead on a few occasions you see the block shot by JaVale McGee turns into a fast break opportunity but also almost turns into a turnover then it does turn into a turnover Contavious Caldwell Pope not doing what he's supposed to do and Michael Beasley ends up converting at the other end Miami back up Miami, Miami up five but Anthony Bennett I don't care what you do <laughs> big brother you're not going to be on the team Last 10 seconds of the game, Winslow, oh my God, did he break, check, check Ben McLemore's ankles. He almost broke his ankles, but we do get to stop and we get one opportunity to put ourselves up. If we don't knock this shot down, we're done in the summer league. The player's got to go for Ben McLemore. He gets it, pull it from there, no! He doesn't pull it and tries to go off the dribble, gets the shot block, probably wouldn't have got it off in time anyway and I really that's that's a stunning loss that's a stunning loss the way the Chicago soul had played the way we played in the summer league you would have thought that this was a team that was going to win it all I mean Bennett look at the Bennett, Bennett had a good game you know 16 and 8 not maybe as good as he had been having throughout the uh, the rest of the, the summer league but it was still good Molly Newman had seven points in six minutes I mean, I, I but look at Ben McLemore. He was dreadful. He was dreadful. Molly Newman probably should have been playing ahead of him. But, you know, and I don't know what's going to happen now. So we could be heading for a frustrating rookie season for, for Malik Newman. It Maybe things might not have started the way he wanted them to start in the summer league. And then now when we go to the regular season, he's automatically going to be behind guys like Eric Gordon. Yep. Chicago Souls eliminated from the summer league. So. He's got to wait his turn and he's got to see and, you know, try to get, you know, try to bully his way into the, uh, the rotation, perhaps playing well in practice, something to that effect. And then we look at the way the Summer League Tournament bracket shook out. 
take a look at this. The Bulls are there in the final four. Uh, they're going to go against the Sixers. Tell me the Sixers didn't win this after the way we trounced them in our first summer league game. It's going to simulate this game, and oh my God. How in the world did the number 10 seeded 76ers come and win the summer league? Eh, that is just crazy. Well, maybe that's something that bodes well for the 76ers future. We are looking at the 2K Summit. About to go into that. Uh, and here is the, the, the top prospects for the 2017 NBA draft seventh woods also looking at Thon maker Harry Giles there are a lot of Malik Monk there's a lot of big time uh, players that are going to be available um, in that 2017 NBA draft but I'm gonna tell you right now we have our eye on Thon maker I don't know where he's going to be drafted in the 2K Summit, he's going to be playing on the international team because the 2K Summit is the international team against the United States team. And he's going to be one of the only really good players on that team. Take a look at this lineup when, when these guys play. It is not all that beautiful for the international team. Overall rankings are 53 compared to a 77 for Team USA. So he's got an uphill battle for sure. We'll see if he can still shine no matter what. Maybe we'll get an opportunity to draft him, depending on how well we're doing our first season and where he falls. I appreciate you watching. God bless. Peace.